Real quick before I start the video, to celebrate the launch of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon, I am giving away a Nintendo Switch. This specific Nintendo Switch that is in my hands, I'm giving it away. I can sign the box if you want, whatever. But in order to sign up and enter to win it, all you have to do is click the link down in the description below. Click there, do as many things, uh, options there as you want, and while you're at it, you might as well leave a like on the video and don't forget to comment down below as well. Alright guys, let's move into the video and don't forget to enter to win. Cool greetings, Pokey fans! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of my Pokemon Ultra Sun. Let's play walkthrough, my very first journey through these brand new Pokemon games. If you are enjoying the series, don't forget to leave a like on the video and answer the comment question. If you missed last episode, make sure you check that out so you know what you missed. Also, I did receive this product free from Nintendo. Been saying that, I'm gonna keep saying it, because I don't want to get in trouble. But anyways, we're here in Paniola Town. Um... Haven't really looked around at all in here, only just battled how, busted in the Pokemon Center, and that's it. Oh, a sticker! Oops. Did not intend to do that, but let's check out what's up here anyways. Is this Kiawe's house? Because they, this is like a severe fire hazard. This is a wooden house with Pokemon that have open flames. This does seem like it's Kiawe's place with all the Magmar. I bet his mom's going to say something. Knew it. Collected 19, one away from a totem gum shoes. Feels weird just kind of walking all over his house. <laughs> but it's kind of nice. You get to see the nice indoors that these people have designed. Oh, that's right. Oh, that one. All right, we have we can get a totem gum shoes now. Best Oak wants to talk to you. Well, hello there. It's me, Samson Oak. I see you've collected some totem stickers. You should come stop by Hee Hee Beach. You know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and get Totem Gumshoes. So we can find out how many are needed for the next one. Oops. Like, I know it's a bit of a side trip, but like this is a new feature of Ultra Simon. We gotta, we gotta check out the new features. Uh, definitely using a Repel this time around though. Because I know the Pokemon on this route. And I don't care about them. Nope, this way. Oh, hey, the couple found each other. That's good. I'm proud of them. Ah, okay, it's just one grass patch. And we made it! Booyah! Okay, where is he? So far, I don't see him. There he is. Yeah, Michael, I've been hoping to see you again. Seems you collected 20 totem stickers. Told you to give you a special gum shoes that's as big as a real totem Pokemon once you got 20, so I guess it's yours. Alright, guys, totem gum shoes. This is awesome. This is so cool. I'm like. I want to use it in a battle, just like, I'm not going to use it on my team. Was brought over because of a huge Rattata outbreak? Uh, yeah, sure, we'll, we'll call you, um, we'll call you Goliath. Very creative name for a large creature. Does it look bigger? Work hard to stick up stickers, searching them out. I'm hoping to see you again, so you collect it. Oh, it doesn't tell me how many I need to get the next one. That's unfortunate. Okay, so it's level 20. What is its ability? Probably the same. Adaptability? Is that its hidden ability? Interesting. That's nature's... Well, okay, lowering speed. Never mind, never mind. It's nature's fine. I thought for a second I thought it was boosting speed, lowering attack, but it's not. I'm not gonna use like I had a shiny gum shoes in my uh freaking sun version, and I couldn't keep it on the team just because it sucked. <laughs> but I'm gonna I wanna use this in one battle just to like check it out. You know, because it's a big totem Pokemon, like that's awesome. 
All right, I guess we'll try the next grass patch. That is in my way. This is the next one. Wow, okay. I guess we'll just run around right here. There we go. All right, let's use this giant gumshoes against a mudbray. Oh, that's sick! Oh, it's so big! <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Oh, man, I hope we can get a totem Vikavolt. That would make me ecstatic. I, like... If I can get that at a reasonable time, I might just use Vikavolt again on my team. Let's just KO this thing with Bite. Oh my god, gumshoes. <laughs> I bet he doesn't offer me to give me totem sized Pokemon until I've, like. Until I've, what do you call it? Uh, beaten more totem Pokemon. I think I have to beat a totem Pokemon in order to get it. Oh, it's calling for help. Okay, we might just run. Okay, never mind. We'll just bite it here, finish it off. There we go. What happens when we go into care for this giant thing? Ah, ha! It's on two cameras! Oh, it's huge! This is so funny. Oh, this is a, the, I, I I like this feature a lot. I'm 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 looking forward to seeing what other ones we can get. All right, Totem Gumshoes, let's put you not in the front position of the party because I am not using you on my team, but you're still cool. All right, now let's continue poking around Paniola Place. I should heal up real quick. All right. Hope to see you again. Let's see what else. Let's see what all is here. We got two totem stickers in Kiawe's house. I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's another one. Can I not talk to you? Moo. Why don't you take a bottle with you? Ah, such generosity in Alola. Thank you. Coming in tomorrow. Okay, you can get one free Alola. One free Moo Moo milk a day, it seems. Look at how loot you It weighs less than 110 pounds, and it shouldn't take too much damage if it's able to move like Grass Nunt. Uh-oh. Yo, yo, Vulpix, give me that bottle cap! Mm. Please, stop! Yo, hey! Garbage people! What you looking at? What's this Pokemon need a nice bottle cap for? I'm just gonna put it to better use, that's all. I will physically combat you, fools. You want a piece of me? I'll show you what happens when you mess with Team Skull. Alright. I'll show you what happens when you mess with innocent little adorable Vulpi. Because Vulpi is definitely the plural of Vulpix. Ah, yes. You have an Alolan Radita. Against my... Halucha. And now you're dead! This is, it. This is like an extra little scene. This was not in uh, Sun and Moon, I don't think. Unless I just skipped it completely by accident. Who wants on Poison Fang? That seems like... Useful, yes. All right, let's do that. Attack is way higher than special attack. Let's just get rid of acid spray. Defeat a team skull grunt. You got a piece of me. I guess I shouldn't have messed with you. That's right, boy. Is the girl gonna take me on too, or just the guy? 
It's all your fault just because you wouldn't hand over that bottle cap. Man, that's epic. I'm just like stepping in between. Go lucky, Vulpix. <laughs> this lady give me something for helping out. My goodness, everything's gonna be all right now. Aw, so cute. What's going on? What's wrong? So they have you come back tomorrow too. What? Is this like a daily thing I can do? What is the deal with that Vulpix? Why did it just run off? What? I'm really confused. Can I like... Can I catch the Vulpix? Like what it? What is going on? <laughs> I'm so confused by what just happened. Who are you waving at? All right, let's battle this old lady, Madam. Hello, Madam Elizabeth. And old lady's in uh, good shape. She's got like two wrinkles on her entire face. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> okay, um, let's go break break. Ooh, this thing's bulky, and it's getting bulkier. You know, a crit would be uh, pretty clutch right now, Nacho. Okay, that didn't do too much, we're good. There we go! Took care of Carmink. No problem. I've had enough. I can't fight anymore. That's fine. It's for the pretty solid chunk of money. And now I go to the ranch and I get Stoutland. We'll find some items and then we'll keep going. Hmm. There's a mill tank running away. Look at it running like oh <laughs> stupid piece of crap. A mill tank. There's Mallow. Hey, girl! Her and Kiawe must be, uh... Must be dating. They're both hanging out in the same town all the time. It's the best. It's so rich and creamy when using the white sauce and other things. Mmm! Taste can't even be described! You just described it. Rich and creamy. Oh, always since I was lucky enough to run into you here, I'll do you a little favor. Stutland! Yes! Sal can sniff out items for you that are buried in the dirt, even when you can't see them. Alright. This is how we get Stalin. Thanks. Route 5 for the water trial. Okay, let's register Stalin to the left slot. And find some things here, because I know there's things here. A moo moo milk, alright. Useful. Is that a totem sticker? Oh, I need a fishing rod, don't I? Yeah, I totally do. I missed it. There we go. Fresh water! Repel, okay. Nothing super exciting, so let's, uh, let's roll out. Okay, let's see what Pokemon are here in this grass. Probably Mudbray and Lillipop, like last time. <sighs> let's see what this rancher boy has. Breeder Glen, okay. Mudbray. Hopefully it does, it's one that doesn't have stamina, because stamina is quite the annoyance to battle against if you're using a physical attacker. It, does it have stamina? It doesn't! Woo! That's awesome! 
All right. Okay, on the mud bray. No problems. No questions. Maybe just to providing care, racing means drawing up talents. I'm helping this man learn. You're welcome. Oh, an item! Mareep! Okay! That wasn't here before. I don't think I want to use it though. Um, like I said, I prefer to use dual types, so I don't think I'm gonna use Mareep. But it's still cool to see it here. I'm sure lots of people are excited about that. Ampharos is very popular. Although, if I find a shiny Mareep, I'm definitely using it. <laughs> but, shinies are special. Oh! Another sticker. 22. Racking up the numbers. Well, we like encounter like no Pokemon. Okay. Kill my Pokemon, please. Meow, meow. Doesn't somebody in here give me hidden power? Yes, thank you. I was right. And then she also tells you the hidden power type. No, because I don't have any Pokemon that would use it. No special attackers. This guy's just like, when are you gonna mate? <laughs> you two, start doing things. Looks like the pseudo Wudo, I think, still... Yep, they still blocked away like last time. There's definitely a hidden item in here. Oh, that's it? All that work for a time special defense? It sucks. <laughs> okay, the amulet coin, is that still over here? Is that a guy doing sit-ups under a truck? Amulet coin is still here. Dude, what are you doing? Winning at Pokemon Battles is easier than fixing my truck. Uh, maybe because you're doing sit-ups to try and fix your truck. That's not how that, and also, how, how, how do you have a driver's license? You're like barely older than me. What the heck was this guy makes no sense. Uh, baby doll eyes is so annoying. Mine's still one shot though, so. All right, we did it. What's this next one going to be? Magnemite. Yeah, we'll switch Pokemon. Get my attacks lowered, and I don't want to mess with getting paralyzed. I know I can one-shot with Fire Fang immediately. Alright, no worries. Fire Fang, and then this is over. Oh, never mind! Crap! Oh, Come on! It's fine, the mill tank's right there. It's just, you now I have to hope I don't get fully paralyzed. Wow, I still outsped it even though I was paralyzed. And it has sturdy. This Magnemite is proving to be not a threat, but an annoyance. Come on. Uh -huh. This battle is lasting four times as long as it should have. That took a little while to load, that was weird. Alright, Magnemite goes down. The Rocker to level 22, yay! Nacho to level 20! Encore? Nah. It's very situational. Situational. Okay, let's, uh, Miltank, heal my Pokemon, please. I, I know I hate you, but I still appreciate what you're doing. Let's battle this old guy. 
Have a look at my kid. Is that what he just said? Did he just ha say, have a look at my kid? Are you one of those people who refers to their dogs as children? I've never liked that. Alright. Harucha Aerial Ace because you won't get hit by a Brick Break. Two a KO is fine. An Astonish? <gasps> My goodness, that was effective! Oh, I forgot these guys do that. Why? I'm kidding, I'd do the same thing. Or I'd just switch, but you only have a save life, so. Let's use Wing Attack to finish him off. Save some Aerial Ace PP. And Sableye is defetadoed. And growing rapidly. That's wonderful. You are so weird, dude. You are so weird. I'm going to run away right now. Don't care about taking photos behind the ranch. Okay, Route 5. I know there's a TM over here, and I definitely want to check that out, and I also see, want to see what Pokemon are here. Mm. Grubbin? Man, these things are everywhere now! Were they here in in Sun and Moon? I don't remember. It's definitely a TM. Yeah, there is! What is it, though? Torment? Ugh, not that great. <laughs> that, that thing kind of looks like a like a butt crack farting continuously. <laughs> Behold my childish sense of humor! Alright, let's defeat this lady doing stretches. Pokemon breeder Yuka. Yuka's a nice name. A Morlol! Alright. Well, Halucha still beats this, so we're good. Aerial Ace. I don't want you putting anybody to sleep or any crazy stuff like that. Excuse me, jeez. I apologize for all the hiccups I'm having today. A ladybug! I wonder if it knows Dragon Ascent. <laughs> if you watch my Sun and Moon randomizer, Shiny Race with A Drive. You would know that his very first Pokemon, a Quick Ball Fungus, died to a Ladybug that used Dragon Ascent on it. A Ladybug that had Protean. I mean, the Protean didn't matter because it was already a flying type, but it was, uh... It's just kind of funny that it used Dragon Ascent. Team Skull Guys? I'm assuming you don't let me pass right here. Doing squats really uses all your muscles. My legs are sick. It's so hard I can't move. I'm not doing a little of the sumo. I'm not. I'm definitely not trying to be like Kahunahala. Okay, that's how they roadblock to make sure we do the Gladian battle. Okay, let me make sure. I know there's a... I saw the two twins. Okay, the rocks in, in front. We're good. Yeah, we got to do the whole Gladian Team Skull thing. But first, we're going to do this double battle. Which was a nightmare for Dan. It was like a Mega Latios and a Giratina. But I don't think it's going to be that here. Cottony and Petalil. I was correct. <laughs> this is... I'm good against both of these. Oh, I like how the, the different Pokemon... Like, I got blue and I got, like, indigo purple. I like how it's a slightly different color. If it was like that in the other one, I was unaware. Alright, this should be a two turn, or this should be a one turn two attack battle done. Because my team just matches up really well against these. And I was right! Good night, Cottony. I'm too young for math. <laughs> It's funny. All right, let's do this scene, and then I think I'll poke around the rest of this route. How lost to uh, Gladian? Are you even taking this seriously? 
I am, so seriously. I'm seriously enjoying it. Enjoying it? You can enjoy Pokemon battling when you put everything you have into it, which clearly you haven't. Dude, whoa. What's going on? Chill. This guy is plenty scary. You're Michael. Yep, that's me. Not very cautious. Some Pokemon have a better sense of self-preservation than you apparently do. Everyone in this region's been so friendly so far, so I'm just going by what I've been taught. Gladion, me and my partner Type Null are training to get stronger. We have to get stronger. Most of our time these days goes to working for Team Skull as their muscle. Battle me. I won't take no for an answer. Okay. Oh, my ear is itching. So many mild issues I'm having today. He's got three Pokemon? I thought he only had two. Alright, Zubat, no biggie. Actually, I'm gonna switch to be safe because um, I need to make sure Nacho's. I I, I want to make sure Nacho's safe against uh, Type Null. Fain attack. It didn't use a flying move. It's weird. Oh, not quite a one shot. What? What? Oh, what? Holy crap! <laughs> oh, he's got a Zorua! Oh, I love it! Oh, that really caught me off guard. I was not expecting that. Oh my gosh. Way to go, Nintendo. That was quite the twist. If only I used Brick Break on it. Spark? Nah, your physical attack is trash. Okay, well now it's an actual Zubat. Like, why did Fire Fang not do more damage? <laughs> I felt like Firefang would have one shot a Zubat. Let's oh it misses, of course. That's why it didn't use a flying move, it's because it didn't have any. <laughs> there we go. See, that's what I expected to happen the first time, and then it turned into a Zorua, and I was like, what? <laughs> Alright, type no, we're gonna brick break this thing. Nutch. Okay. So cool. One thing I like is when he finally has the Sil Valley, Silvally, however you say it, it's a, uh, it's the one that, it's it's like, it's the typing he gives it is the one that's good against your starter. They like, they're good, they make your rival have a starter that's weak to yours, but they, they find other ways to make that balance out. All right, Nacho's 21. Excellent. And my totem gumshoes grew a level. What? How annoying. What was that sound? That was weird. Why did it make that sound? I gotta keep fighting strong opponents. Looks like I'm still not ready. What? Kid there, his Pokemon aren't weak. I'm sure it's fine to enjoy battling with this brat. He's just using that as an excuse not to try hard because he can't beat the Kahuna. Because he can't beat Hollow when he's serious. You my Gramps? Wait, so you think I'm strong? Oh, look at you, little Gladian, aren't you just... Oh, that's the Grunt. <laughs> Wait, so... He didn't beat Kah... I thought he beat Hala. <laughs> I'm so confused as to whether Hal beat Hala or not. Got enough backbone to cover for you. Just give it up already. Huh? You know you can't beat me, you'll just get your Pokemon hurt for no reason. It's a good Pokemon. This is where we reveal that Gladion's got a good heart deep down. Oh, a totem sticker! I need that. Like the Murkrow crying and we should be flying. You're just some hired help we keep around when we need you. You're not a part of Team Skull. You're not, you're not a part of the family, you're just a poop face. That's what he might as well have said. And Gladion is the bigger man and doesn't mouth off or deck the guy. Thanks, Michael and Halucha too. You both gave it your all. Looks like I gotta train up my team if I'm gonna take on the trial of Brooklyn Hill next. Oh boy. 
Quite a bit nervous for the Vishivashi, assuming it is Stule Vishivashi. Can we make it to the Pokemon Center? Crap. <clears throat> My Pokemon are not healed. You know what, it's fine. I really just want to get to the Pokemon Center to finish this battle. We'll do this battle. And then it'll be over. I wonder if there's anything good I can buy in the Pokemon Center. Justin! Like my brother! Volibi and Rufflet. Well, this is not ideal. It's fine. We got this. Here, we'll, uh... We'll, we'll double slot attack one Pokemon. So if either one of my Pokemon one-shots it... Alright. So I just gotta deal with an attack from Volibi, but that's it. Pluck. Aha! We did it! Alright, please just don't let Fire Fang miss. Of course. Oh, it didn't attack Toracat. Don't you just love terrible AI? <laughs> and Nacho finishes it off! Alright, good night, Volibi. I will sing you a, a volibi. Inchworm! Inchworm! Something, 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 something. There are a lot of other words to that song, and I don't remember. It's been many years since I've heard it. <laughs> Gladion, he's kind of scary. You think? He looked much stronger than the normal Team Skull grunts. Because he's not a grunt. All right, let's get the squad healed up. See if there's anything exciting here on the Pokemon Center. Oh, second person, what do you sell? Lovely. All right, guys, well, this is probably where I'm gonna finish off this episode. Uh, I think I'll poke around the rest of Route 5 a bit, battle some more trainers, and then we're gonna head in and take on the Wishy Washy Trial. Which I'm honestly pretty scared for, because I don't have an electric or a grass type that I plan to use. I mean, I have Magnemite, but like, I had a Magnemite die to Wishy Washy in uh, the first, in my Moon Wonderlock, so I'm, I'm not holding out hopes for it. We're gonna hope I can o just overpower it with Halucha. We'll see. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like, answer the comment question down below, and that is all I have for now. So until next time, big fans, gotta catch them all!